At first glance, this may seem like just another streaming set-top box, like an Apple TV, Roku, or Amazon Fire TV. But in truth, there's a lot more going on. This is the Red Rhino Entertainment Rhino Box, and it's packing some serious hardware under the hood. It runs on Android KitKat 4.4. It's got a bunch of ports and connections, but there's something else it does that none of those other boxes do. It streams porn. Here's the box. It's a little chunkier than a Fire TV, but not by much. Comes with this antenna, which I think is gonna help with Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi. It does go up to AC, by the way. On the back, you've got an optical port, which is great, because you can connect it to a soundbar or AV receiver, HDMI port, obviously. Two of the four USB ports, a LAN port here, and then on the other side, you've got your other two USB. There's your 32 gig micro SD slot and uh, it also has an old school AV output. Under the hood, you get an A17 quad core processor and it comes with 16 gigs of RAM on board, but you can expand it by up to 32 more gigs using that micro SD card. This is the remote that comes with the Rhino box. And uh, if you're a Roku user, you're probably thinking, man, that looks mighty familiar. And it's true, they are very similar, very basic functions, even has this little ribbon down at the bottom like Roku boxes do. I'm not sure what that's all about. At any rate, this remote, while simple, isn't the ideal partner for the Rhino box. All you get is your left, right, up, down, and okay. Uh, you can back things up and hit the home screen, uh, but that's really not enough to take full advantage of a box that basically runs off a tablet interface. What I wish the box came with was this remote. This is a $50 uh, accessory purchase, and they call it the Red Rhino Entertainment Magic Wand. And this is sort of a Wii style remote where it's uh, all gesture controlled. But of course you also have a full QWERTY keyboard and a few other functions. Your directional pad is here. This gets you much closer to the swipe and tap interface that you're used to with a tablet or smartphone. And really it's totally necessary to take advantage of all the different features that the box offers. Let me show you what I mean. Right here is the home screen. And if you're an Android user, this looks very familiar. Now I can tab through the options right here with the basic remote, but if I want to access any of the controls down at the bottom, I can't. I just can't get to them. With the magic wand, I get this little cursor on the screen, and for all intents and purposes, that is my finger. So I can drop right down to the bottom and select whatever I want. Let's go into apps. And you see there are plenty of apps preloaded onto the device. Uh, I can actually go to the Google Play Store and add whatever I want. But for right now, let's go straight to the Red Rhino Media Center. Now, if you're an XBMC fan, or uh, Cody as it's now called, this looks familiar, and that's because that's basically what it is with a little Red Rhino treatment on top. So this will let you access a wealth of online content and anything on your media server. And of course, we come just after family and sports and apps, adult. Here's where we get to the porn. Now, it's important to mention that right at the setup phase, you can either have porn turned on or off. It's not a requisite for this device. So if you've got a family and you don't want them seeing that stuff, you simply turn it off and lock it away. Think of this as your quick access to Pornhub because basically that's what it is. It's free online porn from a number of different sites. You select one and then you can go into different genres or subcategories. Uh, and then watch all the porn you like on the big screen. But if that's not enough for you, this device has been rooted, which means you can install any number of apps that aren't available on the Google Play Store, and that would include a number of different porn apps. But it's important to note that this isn't just about porn. I mean, this is a full-on media center in a tiny little box, so you can pull down apps like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon, basically anything that's on the Play Store. And if you're not into the Red Rhino Media Center app, then you could download Plex, for instance, and run it that way. There's Google Maps. You could open a full-on web browser and browse any page you want, or uh, get into Gmail and take care of some email. All you need is a keyboard and a mouse, which Red Rhino sells a wireless keyboard trackpad combo, or you could plug in anything you want. There's four USB ports on this thing, after all. You can also play games on this box. It supports any number of mobile-style games and you can even use a uh, game style controller. In fact, PS3 and PS4 controllers will work. Now that all sounds good, but I find that the interface is really tough to get used to, especially with the magic wand, which as I mentioned is necessary. I mean, don't even get this thing unless you're gonna grab the magic wand. Um, you can tell I'm having a little difficulty scrolling here. The cursor doesn't go exactly where I want it to all the time. It's gonna take some getting used to. 
One big disappointment for me is that the hardware can support 4K, but the apps don't. The best you'll get out of Netflix is standard definition, and I'm not entirely sure I'm getting HD out of YouTube either. Bottom line, if you like the simplicity of an Apple or a Roku, this is not the device for you. Even if all you want to do is stream porn on the big screen, I don't think it's worth it. But if you like the idea of converting your TV into an oversized Android tablet, it certainly does that well.